When you think about the richest people in the world, you think about a CEO that's sitting in his office and he's running a huge company on top of a building. But are the rich people that we're seeing today the richest people in history? Or were there people that were way richer than these guys? Around 10 years ago, you would hear that Bill Gates is the richest man in the world. He is still one of the top richest men in the world. Him and the Microsoft company have a net worth of $124 billion. But right now, there are some companies that have passed Microsoft. If you've shopped online before, you've probably put money in this guy's bank account. Jeff Bezos, who's the richest man in the world right now, he has a net worth of $180 billion, and it's changing by the hour. But Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk are competing for that number one spot. Elon Musk with Tesla and all the other companies he runs have a net worth of about $150 billion. And for a short period of time, he passed Jeff Bezos in the number one spot. And he was the richest man in the world at that time. But Jeff Bezos caught up again. This guy owns Louis Vuitton and a lot of other companies. Bernard Arnault has a net worth of $150 billion. But well, let's see why these guys' net worth go up and down so much. Most of these guys' money are in stocks. And as you know, stocks are always going up and down. And that is why sometimes Elon Musk passes Jeff Bezos, and sometimes Jeff Bezos passes Elon Musk. These guys that we mentioned, plus Mark Zuckerberg, the owner of Facebook, are the only people in the world that have a net worth of over $100 billion. But these are the billionaires with statistics. There could be people making money illegally, but they're not recorded and are not in the record books. But it seems like we're gonna learn about the history of billionaires. When we go look at history, we see that the richest people were way richer than the rich people today. Ancient rich people were usually the head of an empire, and most of their wealth were in gold and diamonds and other jewels. Let's go back in time and see what we see. You should know Henry Ford. Because of an idea, he was one of the richest people in the world at that time. He was the first person to make an assembly line happen for automobiles. And by doing this, he lowered the price of a car. He said, any American should be able to afford a Ford. If you take Henry Ford's wealth and converted it to today's dollars, he had a net worth of about $200 billion. So we are already surpassing these billionaires. In the same era as Henry Ford, on the other side of the world, there was another wealthy man. Osman Ali Khan. This guy wasn't a businessman like Henry Ford, but he was the emperor of British India. Back in those times, in India, there were a lot of diamonds, and Osman owned most of the diamonds in the world. In those times, anybody that wanted a good diamond, they would talk to this guy. If you convert Osman Ali Khan's wealth into today's dollars, he had a net worth of $210 billion. But let's get back to the United States. The Industrial Revolution is happening and everybody wants to get rich by the industry. One of those guys was Andrew Carnegie. This guy created the first and biggest steel company. What he did was extremely important because steel changed the world forever. You see these buildings? It's impossible without steel. You see this bridge? Without steel, it couldn't be made. You see all the railroads and railroad tracks all around the world? If there were no steel, it wouldn't be possible. Andrew Carnegie really hit the spot. This guy's wealth in today's dollars was $310 billion. 
In this case, Henry Ford with his 200 billion has to keep moving. At the end of his life, Carnegie did something interesting. He gave $5 billion of his money to charity to help poor people. Let's leave diamonds, steel, industry, automobiles, and let's get into oil. You should know John D. Rockefeller. This guy controlled 90% of the oil in America. And this is a time where electricity doesn't exist and everybody has gas lamps and they had to use kerosene for all of this. This guy's net worth in today's dollars was more than $400 billion. This guy had so much control over US's oil that the monopoly law by the US government sued him and told him he has to separate into 34 different companies. These guys are extremely rich, right? But they're not even close to the richest people in history. The Roman Empire, after the transition between BC and AD, it was at its richest stage. Augustus, the Roman Emperor, had control over all of Europe and he would tax all the citizens. Augustus's wealth got to four trillion dollars. You might say this is not his money, it's the people's money. But we're just explaining who the richest people were. And Augustus, the Roman Emperor, was one of those. Before the Europeans took over Africa and just cut it up like a piece of cake for themselves, Africa was filled with empires. One of the most powerful empires in Africa was the Mali Empire. And in the 13th century, Mansa Musa was the emperor of this empire. At that time, the biggest gold mine was in this place. Mansa Musa was so wealthy that he could affect the world's economy. He was a Muslim and he believed he has to visit the Mecca. So he got ready for the road trip and he took 70,000 people with him so they can head towards the Mecca. This emperor, with anything that was following him, anything that could carry weight, he filled it up with gold. They believe he was carrying around 10 tons of gold with him. He believed everywhere he went, where he saw people, he would give them gold to build mosques. He said, with my money, on every Friday, a mosque should be built around the world. But since he didn't know anything about economy and the 10 tons of gold he spread it around, he really affected the price of gold all around the world. But anyways, he still had most of the gold in the world. They believe Mansa Musa's wealth was way bigger than Augustus and they believe he had way more than four trillion dollars in wealth. Mansa Musa was really rich, a multi-trillionaire. Mansa Musa right now is the wealthiest man in history, but there's a chance that there were empires that had way more money than Mansa Musa, but they were a group of people like the Achaemenid Empire. They were extremely wealthy, but it wasn't in one guy's hand. But anyways, Mansa Musa's wealth was insane. If you've seen our video about the biggest galaxy in the universe, in that video you'll see if you count from 1 to 1 trillion, how long it will take. Just imagine what 4 trillion dollars is like.